nana here and then in this record i am going to tell about the item status attributes for an item so let me go there and then now create an item actually create an item so i am now creating an item on my master arc <coughs> I will now apply my ready-made template, which I conducted for the training. So this template will make almost everything on test status. We get the test status. Paste it over here. So active template is now applied upon this. The purchase item is one. So if you go to the specs, if you want to see, if you go to the inventory, you can now see inventory item is on, stockable is on, transactable is enabled. So these are required for transacting the item on there. I go to the associations and let me associate with the child dot actions and result plan. I'm going to associate with the child dot G011. And then let me explain that. That is done. So let me go on that save. Test status is now getting saved. <clears throat> let me go there and then go to the browser items and I'm coding the item. Yes. Search and open up the master. If you want to see on the right hand side, G010 is the one. I'm talking about. Go to place and then I'm now going to apply the inactive template. So the moment I apply it, it will not say you how many pro, the how many attributes are going to be changed. These are the existing values of this many attributes. They will be changed to the new value of no actually. And the inventory item is no, and then and the transaction enabled is no. The stock level is no, and so many things are getting automatically changed. It's so, okay, we accept it and then give a save and close. Now it is now save. Go down and then make a research. And then this time, let me open it up on the child org. So the child org is here now, G011. And go there. And then click on the underscore of the go there. And then you go to the specs and then you go to the inventory. Now you will not find nothing is updatable, everything is grayed out. This means what they are all master controlled attributes and not org controlled attributes. So, normally, inventory item, stockable and transactable are master controlled, and so you cannot do anything on the child org at all. And go there, cancel it, and then let me open up on the master. So, this is a master. So, click on it. Test data sign, opening it up, and then I go to the specifications. And then here, uh, I will now try to update this to active. So from no to yes, we are going to update it now. And the following attributes are going to be updated. So it is now getting updated. So it normally gets updated. But if you have a problem in updating it, I right? well, cannot see everything has become this. So uh, what I will do is I will not give a cancel now. So if you have, because what happens is that if you go and then see on the specification of the sales and order management, you might have made some transactions and then orderable on web is becoming yes, actually, because of active stuff. So when it, certain attributes will not allow you to make a change of from inactive to active actually. It will not allow you. So uh, what I do is uh, if, if it doesn't allow, for some people, what happens, it doesn't allow. Because of certain other attributes are also added on the active. Active status active has got uh, multiple things now. Once again, right click on them and I'm going to duplicate now. So now see what are the attributes which are affected with the status active. What is the Go to this place, search, manage, status percentage. So manage uh, inventory status. Uh, so let me go ahead and go manage. Again, this percentage status. Then on the inventory status. Task name actually. Manage item status is this. Manage item status is the one. Go and see this now. So if it is active, this many attributes are going to be set to yes, actually. And then from an inactive to active, when you do it, certain things that do not allow at all. And if something has been made, then it doesn't allow at all to brought it from no to yes, actually. So in such cases, what you do is you go there, let it do it, I'll not give a cancel now, let me recall it now. I'm not save it actually. And search and then I go there, click on it, and then now it's inactive only. Fine, I'm in the master, and the child or nothing is irritable. I go to the specifications and I go there. 
I go to the inventory. Now, all the three are basically master controlled attributes. So the moment I make it as yes, these two will become on. Make it as yes. So these two are becoming on. So you can stock it and then you can transact it. Transaction will get Give a save and close. No. Give a save and not see any errors coming or not. So it got saved and then it, even though the status is inactive, we can now see whether we can transact it or not. We don't know how the, the transaction is possible or not. I go to the home icon. I go to the supply chain edge version. I go to the inventory. And then we will now create a miscellaneous reserve transaction. <clears throat> Click on it. And then create miscellaneous transaction. So it's a G011 is on on which I'm going to perform a transaction. Type is miscellaneous result. And then I have created my own structure on this. I will now put an account 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1,000. So inventory valuation account has been already populated. And then this is a transactable account and the code combination is transactable. Thank you, Confess. And then go there and then put the value. So G01 underscore uh, status. So the state is the one. Uh, G01 percentage. Oh, it is not G0, I'm sorry. It's a test percentage status. Search for it. I'm going to search it. And then click on OK. The list price is coming because of my template is not having this one. So go there. There is no try to populate some quantities over here. Then I'll see whether it works or not. Yeah. So the moment you put the sub the quantity will be coming up. But I want to have now choose one of the asset sub of this. And then put the quantity as those. It. The transaction will be cool, it will get fast. So it's not going on, going on, going on. So if you are unable to make a change from inactive to active, we'll again go and check whether it allows me or allows for me or not. So the transaction is not going on. So your transaction process is no issues. You know how to put the quantity, you go to the manager and quantities, you know how to put it. So it's just on the score. There was a bug on this item status actually on the previous versions, but now I heard that uh, from 21A onwards you won't find the bug at all. The bug uh, was not there. It was not even allowing you to make any change at all. Now you have a quantity. Let me go there and see whether I can manually change it or not. Go to the product management. Go to the product information management. And then I will go and query item on this place. Test underscore status. The mouse shop and opening it up, and then I want to change it to active. And then let me save it. If on a separate thing is not getting set to yes, actually, click on save. See, it's not throwing it up. The inventory asset value item attribute cannot be updated since the online quantity exists. Okay, and I have now transacted it. Had I had a zero quantity to allowed it, so here, if you go on and see, if you go to the specifications, and then if you go to the inventory, <coughs> not inventory, I have to go to the manager chain. So what it says is the costing is enabled and then the inventory asset value is yes actually. So if this is not done, then setting it up, certain things will not allow fine. I will not make it as what? It is an expense item. If you make it as an expense item, I don't know whether it will allow or not. I'm going to save now. So test the inventory asset value item attribute cannot be updated since on and quality exists for the inventory. Fine. So that means you cannot update the attribute, but certain things are very much possible. From inactive to active, it is not allowing you. So, but uh, the individual attributes can very well change. And then you have to work on the master, master and then make a change and then bring it over here. So that's the best way. And then uh, there are so many other attributes are also will be having an interdependency. So uh, simply by making a change from inactive to active may not work at all for many. So you have to think over it. And then uh, individually. So here, what it means is if you go to the specifications, this is called the item defining attribute. Fine. It is a gateway attribute for the inventory area. If this is on, then it allows you to have the Status attributes of stock and then stock and then transactable enable can be made on. Right. So you make this thing now. Similarly, if you go to the purchasing, you can now see the item defining attribute may be off now. It's on. Actually. Purchasing is not affected actually. The item defining attribute is on, the status attribute is also on. And similarly, sales and order management now see. So even though I have made this inactive, or I have not made this active, no, it's not saved actually. Uh, now I applied it. So there is a reason. We give a cancel and then re-query. 
Because I applied it and I am unable to save it actually. So that one, I'm going to open it up. <clears throat> go to the specs now. It is inactive now. And then if you go to the purchasing. So now purchasable is no, and then purchased is no, and then this one. You make a change to yes, then you can very well update it also. You can very well put it on a purchase order. So this is a gateway area, and then this is for putting it on a PR and PO. And then sales and order management can go there. So customer order is no, and then it's no. So make it as yes, no. And then it will now allow you to what? The customer order is enabled. You go to the no, probably it will be no. So go there. So the item defining attributes and status attributes for the inventory purchasing order management can be separately set on the master on the master on the master on the master because most of them are basically uh, master controlled attributes if an attribute is uh, or control then you have to go on and change only the order. so keeping it as inactive and then uh, enabling only for our functional area is very much possible by this way but then fine so we'll now meet on some other session of fine bye for now and then i am one more thing i want to show you but what happens i am now conducting a training from 19th of March, 19th of June actually, and you can go there and then put my interesting oracle now.com slash INDP. This training starts from uh, 19th of June now. Oracle now slash INBP. Sorry. INBP. You can now go there. Oracle now.com slash INBP. And then you can watch it and then you can also the in depth of order. And with just 5,000 rupees only, you can click on pay here. And then there's an offer also there. And then have a good uh, complete agenda of this. And I cover it day. And then I'm expecting two months, but it will not be complete in two months. It will be going for three months, I think so. And then it is even for the freshers because uh, those who don't know the subject also can very well understand it. It's all from scratch, actually. It will be a very fast one and then a very tough one. I know that uh, for those who don't know anything upon this, it will be somewhat tough, actually. So they can very well uh, uh, venture into it because the money you're spending is low. And you can very well test your. You're fit for ERP or not. So it is oracle.com slash ENDP. Thanks. Bye for now.